Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. There continues to be a bit of a rumble. You hear muffled shouts and screams from outside, and then everything kind of comes back as all the light resumes, the, the, the things rejuvenate themselves, and you see all of them kind of clutching at themselves. Well, that was close. <sighs> what happened? Did we feel that? Yes. What, what yeah. happened? All your, all your items like stopped yeah. working for a second and then came back in again. Like those, don't like out. that at all. That's those blackouts we've been talking to you about. All right, can I do uh, Arcana check real quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I will. Uh, oh, you did? Yeah, okay, I'm going to assist here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll assist you. Really 96. Just, just say 96. Basically, what we're just saying is take the best, you know, usually how help works, take the best mm -hmm. roll, and yeah. then we go from there. Yeah. Okay, so, I got a 16. You bet yeah. that. Yep. So, uh, we sure. So, uh, we're looking at a 1D, you know, in the 40s. I guess. <laughs> I add 30 to your roll. I think you have 15, actually. Yeah, but it's double. So no, what, I think that is with the double. What you... Efficiency bonus. I think it's enough. And then <laughs> your intelligence on top. Yeah. Oh. But nonetheless, we're talking 40. So okay. I think 40 to 50 is probably... Only, only 40 something. The same, the same result might come from 40. There's a, uh, what is it called? A terminal velocity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Success you could possibly yeah. have. Oh, the splat rule. So, I mean, basically, <laughs> just trying to... Sort Sort of critical issues I'm curious about here. Did the effect originate within this room, or did it happen to happen at the same time? It, from what you can gather, um, you believe that this was it definitely was some kind of arcane blackout. Just this like a wave yeah. of everything kind of powering down. Is right. similar to like an electronic power out in, 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 in our world, and then you know things eventually kicked back on again. It felt very similar to what you sensed on Eberron when sure. things were say, same, same, similar to like Coral. Yeah, and like I say, it had that same feeling, but it was it was a bit different in that. It wasn't so much a a full extra planar suction so much as it was more of a tipping okay. of a of like a of a fulcrum. It should be higher as well. And yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. The energy did get removed, and when it came back, it wasn't that it was put back so much as just more energy was brought in and. And kind of replenished itself. Like the, the the city seems to be kind of continually getting some kind of energy just from the, the existence around it. Um, and you can still hear the sounds of like screaming, muffled from outside, and and shouts and sounds of things slamming into other things and weird 
inhuman sounds, roars, there's some squelching. There's just a lot. So they keep using the term fulcrum. And from what we've sensed, there was a break in the magical flow. Wood and Morden Kane talks to me about the balance, which doesn't mean balance literally, but it made me occur. It occurred to me, perhaps there is a literal translation of that. Is the fulcrum, is there some something out of balance? Is there magic energy being sucked somewhere and creating some sort of disconnect from other parts of the That's what we were trying to figure out. If we could ascertain what the source of these blackouts were, we could deal with them and the lady would have someone new to add to the mesas. Oh, yes, and perhaps if you hadn't reached out and destroyed the one artifact that could give us this answer... Then we would know. I do not think it was destroyed. That Oh, well, see. where is it? Well. Well? You were just about to... Let, let us resume our ritual. Oh, yes. And right. we shall see what we can ascertain. What was the blackout caused by the ritual you just tried, or was this just... Clever science. Serendipity. It's almost as if a great overbeing observes everything happening and has dramatic effect. I don't know. Anyway. And cried out as if with blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, once again, and you can see they're very haggard at this point. They've been draining their, their own magic to do this, and they slowly build themselves back in. The orary begins to move. The planetariums alter and swirl. You can, again, you see your own worlds maneuvering around, and you start to see... Pockets of glow and energy begin to circulate around them. So for for Toril, you see kind of the, the weave itself kind of manifest onto the orary. And it you can see it kind of it's a little thinner than you think it probably should be, but it's it's there. Because I'm here. And you also see two very bright gl- uh, glowing portions, and you start to see similar things appear on the Orb for Oerth and, and Eberron and uh, a couple others here and there as um, they settle themselves back down again. Right. It is as we feared. The worlds are still lacking in the energy that was consumed via the intruder, but there are areas of strength immense strength and we have been able to attune ourselves to this energy and it feels very similar to that I felt once I placed my hands upon your artifact. Foolishly, dumbassly flapped your hands on the artifact. Threateningly <laughs> destroying the entire universe. That yeah, whatever okay. happened with the clash of energies of multiple worlds and artifacts that... It has been scattered across many worlds? Well, that's a very plain way to put it, but essentially, yes. Uh, the energy of your worlds has been fused into the cards and scattered amongst them all, so taking right with them aspects. Card pickup. Mm-hmm. An elaborate world 26 card pickup. Is that how many cards are in the deck? It's very depends on the deck. <laughs> dangerous. Oh no! Yeah, this is more. This is absolutely terrible. Like we're we a random card in a random place. Not only that, but a card infused with half a quarter of a world's entire energy. That's um. I, well, you know the consequences could with be rather card, dire. But think of the think of the benefits. <laughs> Lady, foolish, boneheaded danger is what we do. All right. So pretend that I am, you know, not a Ar- Archimedes genius artificer. So Dr. Whatever. Doofus. Sure. Pretend I'm Doofus here, mm-hmm. and tell me about this particular artifact that we are dealing with. Like imagine. Mm-hmm. If I handed to you a bowl of berries. Love a bowl of berries. Yes. And I would say (laughs) some of these berries have immense benefits and powers. Antioxidants, I get it. (laughs) Your wildest dreams. (laughs) And some. Of it's these like berries or... <laughs> have Goji? poisons and devastation and curses and oh, the like worst berries. imaginable <laughs> things you could ever think of. And I said, oh, would you ever care to eat a berry? 
What would you think of it? I would have to consider some. It's like having a bowl of sit- uh, uh, it's like having a bowl of M and M's and Skittles and not knowing which one's which, and then just grabbing. I do red. not know. Are there those peanut things up? in there? Because that's really what yes. those mean. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, forget it. I'm out. Yeah. Would you <laughs> take Barry? Uh, I would probably take Barry. No, frankly. that's because if you were a risk taker, you were taking your own. Now imagine now as I am. Savior of Sigo. That like there is a oh. random berry growing on a random berry bush in every world. Yeah, I don't, and I don't a know. random Dr. Doofus walks by and says, <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. I might want to pluck this berry. I, I do have to say, I might have a berry. I would not have a berry in the middle of a universe threatening ritual. Sure. That, you know, I mean, like, yes. there's a time and a place. But for what a I say, would you have had us yeah. do? An unknowing, hungry uh, uh, person walks by and says, <laughs> right. oh, I get you. Mm, but, but a but berry. I should we not pluck right. the berries. Yeah, we better go pluck those now, berries. That, yes, that's it's exactly right. That purpose. is why yes. this is very dangerous. This yeah. is, so we must make haste. Is what yes. I'm hearing you say. Yeah. But yeah. where do we go? I think we'd pick well, a berry. Start on Earth because that's my home and that's clearly more important than your home. <laughs> oh, hold on just a second. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think we could the, all the make real energy. world. You're saying. Yeah, why do true. we not why do we not say we have to start somewhere? Why not? We would, all, we would all use that argument. I, why not? See, I I would actually make the argument. I'm I'm quite the opposite. Just for the sake of argument, you're saying yours is the most important. I'm saying I like to see how uh, you know how this plays out and what mistakes mm. might be made before. I mean, do you even that want is, to go to yours first, or you, should we pick you, someone? That oh, yes, wait, wait. that is wise. That is that is wise. I was setting him up. <laughs> but, but wait, but, also, perhaps you should start in a Mario. Yeah. Well, sure. Well, we can no. destroy that Renick that is there. But what about the veil? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As someone who has studied chronomancy, there are parallel times. You've done what? The biggest. <laughs> Trust you. The biggest. <laughs> concern I might have is that if all of our worlds are being affected by this at once. Not mine. We need to identify. <laughs> if, Where's lady? your deck, lady? If ignoring one of them will cause more damage on another. Makes sense. Like, if we go to Orith, mm-hmm. and Toril is in grave danger compared to Orith, we may want to go to Toril first. Sounds to me like we don't have much information other than that there are other worlds could there possibly be? There are many here. Are they all affected? Are all the glows? Yes, yes. Uh, and they, they would also, uh, you, you've noticed that there's sort of this ethereal one. It's not part of the Orary, but just kind of this pocket, this sphere. Is that where sphere. it is? I mean, you don't know what a Mario looks like. Okay, so I. <laughs> but is it where the guy said, "Ooh, I'm I the basic That's right. Yes, said, it is. I would pick something we are unfamiliar with, yeah. just so again, if mistakes are made, which I sure so hope are. A proof of concept. A proof of concept. So, yeah. How about that one right there? That that looks perfect. Is there yeah. a die? Can we roll one? So we'll, we'll take Toro. Can I just on, divine yeah. or we should go? Divine or we should go? Yeah. 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 That, yeah. yeah. That'd, That'd be, be divine. I I'd be trust smart it. about it. I mean, for the sake of the game, you've got all the worlds, right? Yeah. You Where we go, where we go. So what do we got? What do we got? We got my, we got my big... And if you flip it over and it says Korean or something like that, <laughs> I will be better. What, what do you guys want? I, I think right. I, so, there, so I will say there's eight. You tell... If you, if you want to do it as a roll, if you would like to do but, your thing. But I'd like I'd like I'd like your thing. I'd like at least as much. We're going to do a combo, right? So I'm sure. going to divine, and then we will see what if what I divine is correct. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, let's do it. What does it say? It is the destiny card. Of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> destiny. What does that mean? Elise does not know what that means, but at least I does. Yeah. Um, grounding. Grounding. Don't stick the landing. And luck. Luck. The candor. I mean, I do feel like something tells me maybe it is this uh, image of, of a knight. Mm-hmm. That I am drawn here, but let's roll and see. I roll a four. Okay, you're pointing at the weird ethereal world that is spawned, right? I'm assuming. I'm I'm, point, I'm pointing. I'm pointing at actually at 
what I oh, would make. Or, ju or just low or volt. Or low just, volt. I see. But. So you then just kind of feel energy and you're like, all right. I'm going to just pick one. Yeah. I'll just. So you just grab point. It. Four. And you, you see uh, Farius the penguin be like, ugh. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh. Athos is an interesting choice. We're <laughs> going to dark slash. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not quite destroyed. Does anyone know what this is? Does, what is Athos? I see the advantage um, is, like I said, we can't really damage it much worse. <laughs> you know the old phrase, get your just desserts? That, well, this is a just desert. <laughs> oh, it's a desert problem. Yes. So our destiny is to go to this place. Well, people called... fight over food and water. Oh. Things have been grounded. It's grounded. And you need good luck to survive. That's true. Wow. Creepy. <laughs> so our destiny Let's is go. to go to Athos? Sure. Uh, do you know what you can tell us about this world? Have you been there? You won it long ago. Against my better judgment. Have you been there? I have never been there. It was a it was a thing called a play test. I do not enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> but before we go anywhere, first of all, how are we going to places? Well, that's sort of the thing. You see, you and you, you can't, can't exactly just leave the city of doors. That's right. It's also called the cage. Uh, you're going to need to find a portal that'll take you there, somewhere here in the city. Oh, oh, I have to search for it, Lady Ouch. No, I had, our understanding won't extend to that. Okay. Because she usually just wants me gone and will send me away, but it could be to a random place. Um, and we want to go to... But there's another problem. If we go to this place, Athos, mm -hmm. how are we getting back to here? Or how are we getting to where the next card is? Or how are we going to well, know? Can we, can, we, can we use a little magic to record where all of these oh, are? Yes. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. Sensory stone. I mean, I'll at least, you know, study the, the, the layout of the... Mm. Uh, the orrery as we have for sure. I'll make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, so I, I was just about about the power of the yeah, yeah, we do, but... Well, what is not like we might are you saying that you person? actually have permission to use the teleportation circle of Sigil? To leave? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's fast. That solves 50% of the problem. It's, to be I'll fair, back. it's not difficult to get permission to leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, wouldn't we have permission from you to get back? Oh, that's not my permission. No, you're going to need. You brought me around. here. Um, we can certainly. Um, that's when uh, Braxton will make his way. We can certainly petition for you to have uh, to save you uh, to, uh, to yes, fix if, your problem. If, if you if, can petition to have us if we help you. if we go to um, the, uh, the the courts and we, we speak. At the, uh, at the hall, uh, we can uh, assure that you are given the sigil for the teleportation circle that will bring you back here. Um, that is something we can at least attempt to do. We'll go do it. Go do it. Um, Very well. Uh, yeah. The uh, minimum number of you that are necessary to go do this thing, go do it. The rest stay here and guard this. Yes, agreed. Uh, and and be aware that while we can allow you, we we can make it so that you, well, we can attempt to make it so that you could come back. Uh, you're still going to have to find the specific portal to go to the location you're looking for. And just unfortunately, that's knowledge we do not have. We don't really use them. I do still have a. A question for Lowell. Just uh, you've seen, you've seen a little bit of what's going on. I'm still trying to figure out in terms of them saying, "Oh, you know, we're saying let's have them protect us." Mm -hmm. The people who died here were they killed by the the Renick wielder, or were they killed? Like, what exactly happened when Doofus touched the card? With that, and I know they have past some investigations that are... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to... That's what I'm saying, is I'm, like, trying to walk through it with you. It like, like their you chakras saw. got out of alignment pretty harshly. Yeah, I'm going to go and just kind of rub them on the ground with it being dust and residual and yep. kind of, like, do I, do I feel any, any sort of arthritic pain? Um, I would say probably not, huh? but... uh so the dust... No, so if it was, it would have been clean cuts if it was a... So the two things that I can think of is either this weave breaker. Yeah. The Therian was 
Snatchy. I like that. Slicing away. Yes, team, 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 team. It's a weave breaker is a new term we're calling them. It's it took us a few years to get there, but we right. think it'll be much more sellable on the market. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this weave breaker. Weave breaker. Um, the weave whacker. The swords. <laughs> they can they can over overcharge and explode. But there's no markings of Rennick anywhere around here. So it must have been precision striking. Or a very well-made sword. Okay, but here's here's the question. So again, whoever this is came in here and completely decimated ten archmages. Right. Is it because they were locked in the ritual, or is it because they that definitely just would have able helped. to defend themselves? That definitely would have helped because when you're in the middle of a ritual, it's very hard to oh fireball and not oh, yeah. like mess everything up. Yeah. I'm I'm just basically saying you're like oh have a couple of them stay to defend here, and I'm like no. we're basically asking a couple mice if they could stay when the so, giant cat is going to come back in. They would like, need to summon. Someone help. maybe who doesn't rely like, on fight. magic. I'd yeah, that's rather not like bring the harmonium them. into this. Uh, you know, uh, you got some. They might send the mercy killer, so no one wants that. Yeah. Okay. Sure. They got a lot of brain names here. Uh, Just saying. Right yeah. uh, um, explain to us in you know the next thirty seconds <laughs> the harmonium. Well, the Harmonium are a group of... Uh, sorry, you said quickly. Uh, I'll be brief. Uh, the Harmonium are essentially the town guard, as it were. They, they keep the don't peace. don't want to bring them here. Well, uh, because they keep the peace in a very... Um, brutal. Let's just say they, they're very uh, heavy-handed when it comes to ensuring that the peace is maintained. Okay. Uh, and if they are unable to do so, they call on what are called the mercy killers, not because they kill mercy of other people, because they killed their own mercy. And uh, if you thought the harmonium were a little bit um, strong in their tactics, then you, uh, you, you're you going to be in for a surprise when the mercy killers show up. And uh, I, I'm not sure it would go over well for the uh, Planar Energy Cooperative if it were to get out that we sort of, you know... Well, you know, this happened. Yeah. Right. And, and if we're going to be able to, to continue to monitor yeah. the situation and help you, we need to be still in operation. We, we definitely have more sidetracks here than Terminus Station. So I think let's get back to our point. Yeah. Right. Let's get the let's get the seal. You will get us to come back after we leave. We are going to leave. Yes. We are going to find the first card and then we will be back to then figure out where we will go next. Can and hopefully us. you will not have destroyed the entire multiverse. Yeah. Uh, now that we, have a we haven't up till this point. Okay, but well, we will stay here yeah. in this chamber with you, the, the the residue of you, well, the necessary few of you go and get the... Um, return. The return. The return, the return uh, so Gordon, uh, Mr. Doofus himself, is saying, well, I know where I'm not wanted. I'll be taking the lead of this, going to the Hall of Speakers. And... Uh, Darbus, you better come with me before they murder you. Uh, and that, there he is. Murder? You're right. Murder's a strong one. Well, I hate going to the Hall of Speakers. There's way too many people. Well, yes, but uh, you're cute. People like you. Come with us. Oh, he is cute, isn't he? I'm uh, making plushies. A little ball of pink. I got it right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Does he roll? Right. I actually, since we're just staying around, I am going to pull out my, my pack and, and fiddle around and, and definitely produce a little pangolin plushie. Uh, you know, nice. like, I think, what a I think great reminder of the fact that I'm horribly alone and my entire race has been destroyed. Thank you. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, it's not for you. I'm, I'm going to say, I think other people are going to enjoy this. Oh. Well, yeah. But there is a market. I mean, he may want the companionship of a fellow pangolin, and now they have That's a model for true. which the brothels can be. Um, but what I will get for you, sir, hang on, I do have some of these, uh, you know, candy haversacks, so I'm going through, like, pockets, pulling out, oh, that's a hammer, nope, you know, that's a temper pull, nope. Oh, here we are. It's a Sorry Your World Was Destroyed card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. And, and I, 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 I can assure you, sir, I have 
have never once ever entered foot into the brothel of slaking intellectual lust. I can, I can 100% entertain. <laughs> well, there's that always the first time. <laughs> there, they, uh, there's a, a letter of credit in there for the Gold Dragon Inn. You can get yourself a slurpee. The what's going to... You're not you know. left yet. But we're going now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All of the worlds everywhere are in peril and you are speaking. Why do you think I made these cards? <laughs> That's good. I, I'm That's expecting a sudden you know? explosion of demand. It's not just <laughs> fighting. It's what we're fighting for. Exactly. We, we need to, to dress ourselves up or something else. Just, are they used to seeing outsiders? What, what well, are we, we going know with about? them or are we just staying out? No, no, no. You're, you're hanging out in the tower. the tower. means when we go... When we go to... Oh, oh, stick oh, them to everybody. So, no, no. Um, this, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, this Braxton will, will then point out... Porthos? No. Oh, Athos. Yeah. Braxton will then bring up as... Well, you will also need to find the portal to take you there. Um, unfortunately, we don't really deal in that. We 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 don't keep track of that sort of thing. We have way too much other Let stuff. Let me guess. You're experts on the multiverse. You've constructed a large and complicated orrery. It is very large and it is very complicated. And you don't know where the frickin' to use a local term, <laughs> portals that link all the places in the multiverse. You just don't even know where they are? Well, it's a giant city full of them, and there are people whose jobs it is to keep track of that. Look at and really, where are they? If you really want to go, you just go talk to Fell at the tattoo parlor over in the Hive Ward. Could you bring well, Fell to us? Well, I mean... He doesn't really do that. I think we'll go to the cell. No, shit. What the hell? Yeah, I see a leading, a leading story when we need one. Yes. But I'm just going to say, before we do all of this, Heartbreaker, you got any uh, any words of wisdom or guidance for us here? Any Anything you can see and where we should go? I don't know where we should go now, but I have had a vision. Okay. Does it involve fried potatoes? Because I feel like it might involve fried potatoes. Well, if you're looking to get some food, you could always stop by the gastronome or possibly some, get something in the Great Bazaar. <sighs> I mean, I'm always interested in local local specialties. We do not have time. Yeah, fair enough. But, you know, saving worlds on an empty stomach local, it's a dangerous thing. Local just specialties? I learned how, long, chamber, how long will it take I to learned to love no fish food when I was in the, like the near the Lost Caverns of Saj Camp. Uh, okay. I spent a lot of time Some there. time. Right, they, go, but that's a great answer. answer. They, they would estimate, I think you could you could estimate probably not until tomorrow. Okay, well, let's, okay, let's, so let's, then let's we see, see spell. We'll see sure. spell, we'll get some food, we'll have it tomorrow. Well, if we can go to the gastronome. I mean, I can highly recommend they have these little fried uh, gnomes. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> it's it's they, 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 they mash up this. They mash up this fungus that they find. They kind of make a flower out of it, and then they fry up these little. It's they're great. They're delicious. Fungus mm. flower. I... <laughs> Lead me to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go oh. see Fell. Along the way, we stop. Grab a little bite. Grab a little bit of burger. burger. Hey. Have you been here long hey, or did hey, you just show up for the I ritual? was yeah. just Mer brought here. Yeah. Did you just fried fungus flowers? The marketing does itself. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting. You can call them Obliva Burgers. Obliva Burgers. <laughs> so good you can't remember how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps you coming back for more. Keeps you coming back for more. It's blown away by my yeah. Obliva Burger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. <laughs> Well, let's grab a bite to eat. I would recommend getting a tout or a um, possibly one of the uh, the T Street transits to get you around. You probably don't want to go on foot. Uh, Sigil is not exactly a place to be trancing about as uh, visitors. I always looked upon it as a place to teach a few louts, a few lessons. All right, well, <laughs> you know a little bit of your way around. You want to grab us a... Tout and yeah, uh, let, let's use a tote, and and I will watch the navigation. I assume this is like a sky sure that we're not being taken <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, well, you got to get a good one then. Hey. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, I have experience with sky coaches every day. How do you think I get to work? So I mean, mm. I can spot a tout drive, you know, a, a crooked tout driver easily enough. I'm pretty sure. All right. So exiting out of the tower, you, uh, you you leave the the chrome spires that go up into the sky, and as you step out, it is a world unlike anything that you would know. Um, not being 
Local Except for the media. So just a moment. He went on and on about how impossible it was for us to get to the chamber. All the guards and wards and things we had, we couldn't well, get through. They've all been removed. Uh, yes. <laughs> so we, we could just waltz Yeah, right you're right. Yes. Place. Anybody could just walk into this tower at this point. Got it. I guess you say we're up <clears throat> in the tout now. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. For no. For toot. Who better know it in Canuda? Primarily for, for those who are not been to Sigil before, so potentially, especially this I blowhole, don't know, like, for sure. But as you step out, the first thing you realize is that everything has this sort of tinge to it. It's kind of like when um, when bronze kind of gets oxidized, and there's that little bit of, of kind of a greenish that film. Like, the whole city the battery kind of feel. Yeah, the whole city is just covered in this 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 tinge. Even the 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 golds and the the greens still have that kind of overturn of it. This entire city appears to be made as if everything is edged. There are no smooth lines. Everything is either sharp or has random blades just protruding from them aesthetically. Uh, the main thing you realize is like, that must be a lot of pigeons right here. This <laughs> city doesn't really have a horizon. It just goes on and then curves upwards into fog that just kind of cuts like, between like the, the you the and planets, the planets or the planets. The, uh, the buildings turn sideways and go up? Yes. As if you were standing in the center of like a donut or something. Doctor Strange level weird? Kind of, yeah. Um, there are people Let's see people have a brewing of license. all kinds <laughs> moving about. You see a huge being whose body forged of fire having tea at a small little table with a fox-like creature, and they seem to be having a very engaged conversation. Pink or blue or... Uh, <laughs> orange. Oh, uh, uh, orange. Uh, um, <laughs> there is a, uh, a just a winged being of blue skin and golden hair flying just up above. There are patrols of those in large spiked crimson armor moving up and down. One of them appears to be currently talking to, uh, it, it, he kind of leans down, he grabs a rat, its brain exposed and speaks into it before letting it go on its way. Uh, it is a sight beyond yeah. sights. Yes, pretty rat. This is awfully weird. Anything we should know not to do other than speak the Lady of Ouch? Well... It doesn't look like the central business district, so let's just get over it. I would say, yeah, so how familiar is Elminster with the city of Sydney? He's way out of the date. I would imagine so. Yeah. It's like... It's but you would understand the, like, the wards and the general layout? Uh, yeah. I mean, the problem with Sigil, of course, is that the layout constantly shifts and changes, yes. so... Yeah, that's generally why you would get a tout. Is I remember the bazaar. So what is it? And I would still be able to spot the bazaar. You would be heading towards the bazaar to get to any kind of food if that's where you're touching. Okay. So what is a tout? Like a, like a guide? I think it's a... Yeah. Yeah. Where do we get this tout? It's like a taxi is. Yeah. You 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 go to a tout stand. So the whole and time. you take a good look at who is offering it and, you, and then you make your decision. And sometimes that decision will be to move along and find another tout stand. So the whole with this, the the intelligence being is dumb stat will turn and be like, um, we're looking for a tout. Can anyone help us with a tout? Uh immediately bursting from a crowd of weird little constructs with eyeballs and extremely detailed lips. It's really unnerving, actually. And they have, like, mechanical limbs. Uh, a being which is sort of goat-like in its body, but human-ish in its, in its upper half, uh, bursts for is this, I can help you there. Okay. Is it a satyr? Oh. No, this appears to be a barrier. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, yes. Where where are we going? To the bazaar. To the no no. Where are we going to the gastronome? Ah, uh, the gastronome. No, 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 no. We were going to see that fell at the fell. tattoo. Yeah, fell no, first. Fell at the tattoo parlor. Yes. That's all the way in the hive ward. Why would you want to go to the hive ward? Oh, to see fell in the tattoo parlor. We literally uh, just I said that. So. You repeated it to him. The hive ward <laughs> is one of the um. Better parts of town. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Um, I shall have to get us transit. Um, oh, yes. Uh, 
Let us discuss business. Sure. Okay. You're discussing with the wrong people. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, shall you take this I was say, Oh, I love John Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Try to leave the poor guy so uh, Fair enough. <laughs> what are we looking for I'll here? I'll let him present the business Persuasion, pitch. inside. What do you uh, want? I would say, um, I think persuasion could work. But I, uh, you could add your intelligence because you're doing like business dealing. Uh, right? Oh, yeah. Like Actually, actual. So now yeah, we're talking. Okay. I might need a. Usually, these situations are. I'm going to be lucky. Okay. Chess card. I said the best. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, unfortunately, with that, I'll I'll go ahead and, you know, the thing is, what I've realized is, is he's an independent operator, and so that at least lets me add some, uh, uh, I'm, I'm having a flash of genius. In okay, yeah, yeah. The role was not good. No. Um, but I do have, with that, a 21. Wow. That's a hell of a turn. Well, I, spent, I spent a bunch of stuff to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, because I rolled the nat 20, so <laughs> you needed it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hell's oh, oh. oh. Um, he initially uses to guide you around and take you into the hive. 20 gold. To which you respond, that's outrageous. Well, of course. Um, he says, fine. Market standard of two gold. <laughs> now, I'm just going to say, you know, assuming that we're using a universal currency here, because I understand how gold systems work, uh, you know, I am then reaching into my, uh, you know, handy haversack, where if we do a little zoom in, you know, you will see as his hand goes in, like, you know, little caskets, <laughs> like, you know, literally thousands of golden plant yes. pieces and gems, and him Taking out the two gold. There you go, <laughs> sir. It's Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> exactly. It's the money, the money pouch. On well, listen. If he actually just know. gave them all the money they asked for, he wouldn't have it. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you have to drive a bargain. Do you know how nobody so does even he bothered to raise gold or just like he got it? <laughs> does he bite it when he gets it? Yeah. 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 It's, it's uh, yeah. I got a chocolate one here if you'd rather have that. What was that? Mm, the strangers giving me candy. I've been born to this. <laughs> Don't get any strange touts. <laughs> I know better than that. All right. Um, it's worth a try. Yes, but you live in sickle anyway. This is true. <laughs> hey, you gotta make a living somehow. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? Go back to delivering broadsheets at Trade Gate? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Might get more candy. Just saying. Uh, I'll call us a cab. And he, he moves over and a um, very strange uh, contraption. Very, uh, it's kind of onion shaped. It's, it's sort of uh, bulbous at the bottom and it goes up into, into, into a point uh, being pulled by a huge ogre. It's like a, like a, like a rickshaw. Just... <laughs> Hey, hey, did you call for me, Silen? Yeah, Space Fist. These people want to go to Fells. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, am I getting my normal commission for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Call for onion then. It's a small little onion, or is it like? No, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a carriage. Yeah. Oh, but it's onion shaped. Onion shaped. But it's, onion -shaped. But it's, uh, it's a bit more in it. Uh, no, there's no windows, but we can see up the spout. Yes. All right. Well, I will just as we're going in, just to the ogre and just saying, kid, if you uh, get us there, pronto. There's another gold piece for you right here. Now that you've said that, yes, yes, we'll take the shortcut. There you go. Boy, I'll open the door. I hate to be spending so extravagantly, but yeah. And and he he just pulls on a a chain and just windows pop open. Premium experience. Oh, very nice. I'll open the door, and if you'd like, yeah, I'll hop in. It's a little rickety, just... Oh. I got it, Ben. Hello, <laughs> How are you feeling about our, our trip all, here? Um, yeah. Oh, that, that. 
Oh, I think so. It's your your bar, your tower no, I mean, kind of climbs again, up and gets in as just, well. Just double checking passive insight in the low twenties. Yeah. Like, I feel this is a job. You, you paid know, them. This, this, this is happens a job. All the, yeah. all the oh, time. Oh yeah. You yeah. see other. Why people, talking about that? I mean, you look around. You see other people oh. getting into similar cabs. And honestly, yeah. I mean, you, you, they're they're good folks. They're they're like those actual like. I mean, believe in doing the right thing and world saving mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, all of them, frankly, better there's some people than me, you know, honestly. So, there, there are no people like that. Where I, yeah. yeah, these are not, these are not folks oh, that's in your neck. Bad to be like, but honestly, they really do run well. So, as I get, I'm going to kind of like whisper to these. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I think you have a continual light stone in your bodice. And then I'll just go sit down. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a gentleman here. I was just like, I think you, you have a continual light stone. I think you have bonus. a continual light stone because I've taken a shine to you. <laughs> See, that would have been You light up my charisma. My charisma was a little higher. My you know. charisma is only a nine. <laughs> so that's as best as I have <laughs> That's why I would say something more ham fisted. There's something you can do about this. Yeah, that's sh- at some point. All right. Your okay. barrier. Uh, dim a little or something. We could definitely come up with a little. And suddenly she's shade. extremely self conscious and like pulls a cloak over. <laughs> I, well, I, thanks, I, Mel. She had a little holdings in. Good job. <laughs> your barrier tout, he, he uh, reaches into a little satchel he keeps on his, on his goat like body and he, he pulls out this uh, weird little kind of device that's just got like a very articulate, highly detailed li- set of lips. And he just kind of brings it up and says, Hello, you can call me Sid, and I'll be your guide today through the lovely and wonderful city of Sigil. With me is, of course, my uh, companion, Face Fist. He got the name because he puts his fist in faces, not the other way around. Please don't get confused. It makes him fly into a berserker rage. Now... <laughs> If you'll happily finish getting on board, we will be on our way. Are we going to see the backside of water? Uh, yeah, a sickle is all backside. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if we're going right. into the hive, yeah. All right. This is bad part of town. We're all in. All right. As the door closes, there's a bit of a lurch as you feel the ogre oh, lift you all up. What did that hit? It takes me back. It's been at least days since I've ridden an ogre carriage. <laughs> it's a little bumpy, but, you know, it starts getting fine. Hey, no, Have you, wait, is there like a little... Like a little whipper or anything because like, no, 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 he, he gets going. He, 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 yeah, he gets going. I remember he used to be a bit of a musician. You got anything for us? Ogre riding, ogre riding, heave ho, and away we go. Okay, so what you're saying is Bard isn't where you put your levels. <laughs> That's when I play the fight. Hang on, it'll come. It'll come. All right, all right, that's okay. Save your jokes. <laughs> you're saying I'm Bard? <laughs> Ah, uh, 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 yes, of course. Uh, yes, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, don't sing when we're going through the bad part of town. It attracts attention. As the uh, as the onion cab begins to make its way further, um, your uh, Sid just kind of lifts up once again the devices. So the south. Well, you would know it as south, but. That way, you will find the Great Bazaar, where you can buy basically anything. You know, mo- most things. And okay, as you look I'm up, gonna stop there later. I mean, I'm just saying. As you look out the window, you see a guy who's just set up a nice booth. He's like, "Get your Elminster's hat here, worn by." Oh, jeez! And he immediately. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I, I I have a collection, but if you have a. A large, intact orrery of the multiverse in your back pocket. <laughs> I will relieve you of that. He just, kind of, he, just kind of, he just kind of hides behind his desk as the your carriage. Green blade that does bad things. I don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah. And the carriage continues passing as soon as you're gone. <laughs> Get your old mistress hat here, signed by the Archmage! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll sign them all right. <laughs> 
uh, continues on uh, moving past uh, a monumentally sized building which uh, your guide introduces you to as the Great Gymnasium, headquarters of the Transcendent Order, and the perfect place to get your body fit. And he looks directly at Elminster before he continues. Now, continuing on. I, I, I don't need my body buffed. There's the gastronome. This is, this is oh, the, wait, there's the gastronome? Do we want to stop and we'll catch on the way back? Did you take a good look uh, at it? You see, yeah, you see a large metallic building in the shape of an olive. Got it. So, now we know how to get here without him. Chief attraction. The, uh... It is never serves the same thing twice. There you can find wonderful things that your palates did not even know could exist. Right. I I do have to say it is a good point that uh, since we are, you say it's a bad part of town. Uh, I will just reach into the larger pocket of the mm. uh, mm. and just pull out a gigantic crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> like a number of attachments, just you know, make some adjustments. You know, just lay it across my own, okay. just in case. Cool. Just so we're ready. Like, like a kid. Like, yeah, just like. like no, yeah. Soaking it all in. Yeah, and uh, shoot fireballs. Uh, no. Uh, gold, word, gold? word of warning. What about the gastronome? We'll see. I might be able to tune well, you up a little there. Say no to the the dried fried frog vomit. Hmm. Yeah, I said, that doesn't sound good. It looks like a flatbread, and it tastes like the fried fried frog vomit. Yes, mm. of course. I don't know where they get their frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on, your guys. Are... <clears throat> now we enter the clerk's ward, the last bastion of true sane people in the city. Before we reach the hive, to your right, and as you look, you will see uh, two incredibly old people. Are like, they the same people? That's the last of them? No. Uh, <laughs> incredibly emaciated old people just walking confidently through the street, decked out in full purple robes with high collars and everyone scrambles out of their way as they stride confidently. Behind them, a massive tower made of what looks to be solidified mercury with a spine-like protrusion working its way up the side. The Tower Sorceress, headquarters of the Incantarium. Oh, oh these guys. To the oh. other side, the Hall of Speakers, where the government is done. I gotta say, this guy a look so bad. Massive building, impossibly huge, stretching up past the fog that divides you from the rest of the curving city. Do we see Dr. Doofus hanging around? Yeah, you see them just kind of making their way in. Mm -hmm. They just, they walk around foot, so they just got here. This is where we're going. No, that's that's where the other guys were going. Right. Interesting. Right. We're passing by. Continuing on, you pass a large, opulent building with a blue dome. Hall of Information. You need to ask any questions. Can we just that's ask where you go? Perhaps that's where you can ask where the portal is now. Yes, that's an excellent question. Mm -hmm. You may stop. It's an extra charge. That's okay. We have money. Eric. We don't. Eric yeah, does. Let's <laughs> doing business with you. All right. Face fist. And say and I wait. Mean, I will say if the information is at the Hall of Information and they didn't just tell us to go to the Hall of Information and ask, I, I will be very upset. It is. It is like just a hunch, but I mean, living in a city a little like this, I would assume that there's probably a lot of um, what I would call. Um, Crimson ropes, you know, like twine. You apply yeah, uh, things yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. The you know, you to go. Yeah, yeah, I, I doubt it's really just a free walk up and get a question. No, no. I imagine I've discovered funds will be in one of two ways. Yeah, we've got funds. Well, clerks tend to fall into this category that you speak of. If you uh, skewer them, if they are are not properly respectful and don't listen to orders. That That is one way of doing it. Or, uh, if you don't mind parting with some gold, oftentimes that will... That will I'm be. just saying, we each have our certain areas of speciality. Yes. Between the Harmonium and the Mercy Killers, I think your skewering is probably not the right thing, but I I got you covered. Yes, yes. When it comes, when it comes to, to gold, I got your back. I will stay with this face fist 
To ensure I... that the ride does not leave Charlie. All right. Yes. Well, uh, if we go together, we yes. got skewers and gold. Excellent. I'm just saying. We, yes, we I won't let you do the talking. Uh, I'm not... Come in or are you sticking around? Oh, I'd like to come on this particular you're, you're one. More I want to see the inside How about you? hall of information. Very good. Well, then I will stay. Okay. You must not leave the, the tourists alone. <laughs> <laughs> As uh, the three of you make your way towards the Hall of Information, Loholtz, a... Um, Good random encounter time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we split the party? Did we, we did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Two I games think, in. I think the party is back at the you know party bus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are the most business. Cheaters are going and doing your homework. And we're for the party bus. Uh, you see a massive giant uh, uh, of the frost complexion, a big frozen-like beard, carrying a huge stack of papers, thundering their way towards the Hall of Information, and your entire cab lurches as they trip and land directly in front of you, the papers scattering everywhere as they say, oh no! Is it massive kind of just part of being a giant? Well, yeah. I mean, is, you know, um, the papers, are they, what do they say on them? Uh, they are written in a language, oh, I guess, do you... Yes, Are you able to read? Is it? Uh, it appears to be some kind of uh, binary. Oh, uh, but it is very. It looks very important uh, legal documents. You see a lot of tax records I'll, mostly. I'll, uh, I'll go to the giant. And, excuse me. Oh, hello there, giant. Ho, 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 frost giant. Do you? That's incredibly reductive. <laughs> Same as though you have beamed your way around. Can I help you? I would appreciate it. And they bring a gigantic sheaf of paper and drop it next to you. Hold these. Is it like actually a giant, giant size paper? Okay, I'll hold the giant parchment. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Yeah, they're, they're, they're tax records. Uh, I know. Mm -hmm. I'll do. <laughs> uh, just different civilians. You see, somebody named Dave apparently pays a lot of money for bathroom repairs. You're not sure why. Okay. <laughs> 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 He's very <laughs> much adventure. <laughs> yeah, a side adventure. The three of you. I'll try and get random. So try and keep random knowledge just in case. Sure. The why not? Right. right? The Three of you make your way into the Hall of Information, a gleaming blue domed repository. Uh, and as you enter, as you move, make your way forward, you can see various other people with like little onion shaped uh, areas. You see one of them pulled by a unicorn and just kind of neighs and looks your way and then sees that you came from another one and then kind of looks around and tries to get somebody else. The other touts. Going off their uh, offering their services and uh, different translators. I will translate everything from abyssal all the way to celestial. It's oh wonderful! I can get anything. And you just make your way past that. You get through the, all the notice boards and you make your way into the actual building itself. Uh, and there is a desk where you can see a huge sign that says "Touch nothing." And there is another barrier, a uh, sort of oh, goat. Oh, wait, I'm just saying they, they've got your your thing. That goat body, human uh, top centaur-ish, standing at the desk, currently scribbling something. Yeah. Uh, we were wondering the whole process here for asking How are questions. you new? How are you visitors? Yeah. Here's the brochure. I think. Very much. Huh. Let's see what we got here. We were mainly wanting to find out about Phil's tax returns. I think it's going to be real. Phil's <laughs> tax returns. No, okay. no. Oh, are you looking to be hired out as a knee breaker? I uh, no, no, that's all right. Oh, shame. Uh, we looking at the a few more. Looking at the. Uh, 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 yeah. So you, you gotta scroll through until you find. Uh, is anything specifically that you're looking for? Well, basically, what we're looking for is just like, what is the procedure here? Like, we are coming here in search of a particular piece of information. Is there any sort of, uh, are we supposed to consult with a so, sage? Is it gives there, you a uh, few things. Yeah. First of all, if you're just producing the whole thing, I assume. Yeah, I'm just so giving it. First thing it does is it just says, like, please, you know, welcome to Sigil, land of possibility and the cage, where you're right. probably going to be staying forever. Um, and it, it gets into some details about, it's all very gently and nicely worded, but effectively it breaks down that um, you can't 
teleport, travel, any kind of spell that would do extra planar things like banishment or conjuring, like generally not going to work. It says, please do not, please refrain from conjuring as it will conjure someone from Sigil instead of the outer planes, at which point you they will be very upset with you and it causes a lot of ruckus. Uh, there's a list of various like laws, a brief <laughs> on the different factions. Uh, okay. um, so quick question here. Just services our, and such. Yeah, getting our concepts straight. Hall of Knowledge. Is it a place where there's like a massive like magic orb that answers all questions, or is it a place where you actually talk to sages? It's an information center. Okay, so okay, got it. So unfortunately, like since what we're getting with information is officially there aren't portals that <laughs> can just take you places. Well, so it does. It, it does kind of. There is a section on portals, uh -huh. and it basically states that the way the portals work is um, they are everywhere. Is the city of doors? Doors are all around. Anything that is slightly door shaped is likely a portal. Mm -hmm. But in order for it to work, you first need to know that it is there. Then you need to know what the key is to activate it. And then uh, some of them have weird quirks that can sometimes muck things about. But essentially, the way it's going to work is you're going to need to know the anchor, which is the physical location of it. Uh, you'll need to know the key which could be anything from an object to a thing you think, to a song, to an act, to a person, to a th it, it could literally be anything. Usually there's some loose um, approximation of like where it goes, that kind of, like if it's a, to the plane of fire, it probably whatever you gotta do, it involves something fire, but it's not always the case. And uh, they are everywhere, but they also blink in and blink out and keeping track of them all is nigh impossible, and the only person who actually knows is the Lady of Pain. Okay, I thought you were going to say the only just person detailed. who actually knows. Oh, 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 oh. It's the just detailed person, as the Lady, of course. The only person who actually knows is a tattoo guy named Fel. It does, however, have, uh, there is apparently an advertisement that's been purchased by Fel's tattoos, uh, and it doesn't give you a whole lot of information, but you do learn that he is a Dabus. Now, not knowing what that is, you flip all the way back to the appendices, where it tells you that a Dabus is a type of people that the Lady created to effectively act as the um, caretakers of the city of Sigil. They maintain the buildings, they ensure that things are kept under control. Uh, they don't handle like policing or anything like that, but they keep the city functional. Um, they are uh, sort of blue, ashen blue in their, in their complexion with large horns and shocks of white hair, and they float above the ground wearing robes. Um, and what it does say is, as warning, when speaking with the Dabus, prepare for your head to hurt. Yeah. And it has a brief explanation that they do not speak via uh, words, as many of the creatures who come to Sigil do. They speak in symbols that they conjure right. above their heads. All right. Uh, All right. Not from Starbos. What, 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 what do you want? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, basically, unfortunately, I, I think we have learned a little here, but what we've also learned is, oh, unfortunately, there isn't like a big machine that we just put our question into that will give us the answer. That seemed too easy. So uh, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's head back and hope that the okay. kids didn't get into any trouble uh, back at the New Mr. Castle. Fell, are we? Oh, we're going to fill. That's where yeah. the the cart was taking us. We know. That's right. We, we need to hit stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we're uh, yeah. any anything else you want to do here in the home of knowledge? No. Postcards? No. Uh, yeah, you see a bunch of wish you were here postcards. A little yeah, wish. Here. Oh, actually, Lady of Valley one deep bedroom. bathroom. This is probably yeah. the oh. safest place in the right. That's true. Like yeah. little Lady of Ouch statuettes or something. Yeah, I'm thinking like, letter of or, or a bobblehead or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> All right. Very much not. A Lady of Ouch Pez dispenser? <laughs> lady of Ouch Pez dispenser. Open it back up. Can you just I, I, get for uh, a. Beer. Uh, oh. I spiky head sigil, you know, uh, sigil. So while that's happening, do I, do I just help this giant get his papers? Yeah, give me, a, give me a strength check. Straight strength check. Straight up strength. Are you stronger than yes? Probably. I'll roll this one in our sponsored, so would you sponsored like die, you? sponsored. Here we go, ready? Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Fifteen plus my strength is an eighteen. 18. I'm Eight of team. You are able to hold the stacks of papers as they list them down, them down. one oh. by one. <laughs> and then once they've all gathered up, they lift the whole thing up. Yeah. Thanks. That was very nice of you. No problem. I'll make sure your taxes are filed correctly. It's kind of thunders off towards the hall. 
I don't think I don't believe I have to pay taxes here, do I? How loud do you say that? <laughs> I say that properly. I mean, he's ignorant. I'm playing a little ignorant as hell. The giant stops. <laughs> Is there a tithe to be here? Uh, Let me give you some advice. And as they lean way down as their breath, the frozen breath caresses over you, is giving little ice crystals to your hair. And then, and for those who know the Zanku are like like the Lindander bloodline are like almost fearless. So he doesn't phase, but he respects it, yes. The promenade pool. I would advise paying it when asked. But between you and me, it's really more of a highway banditry. A formality. Mm. Keeps the ammonium off of you. The police force of this place. Oh, the guard, I should say. Sh police only exist as a word. Sh sure. Let's call them that. <laughs> and the penalty for not paying this is... That's where you get to meet the mercy killers. Oh, I've heard of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are ones that come to... And it points... The, the, the giant points its huge blue finger over uh, into the sky. Uh, uh, well, it's a little cloudy today, but... And you can just barely make out, like, a little... The point of a spire emanating out of the... Out of the and a little bit of lights kind of twinkling through the fog. Uh, there's the prison. I see. So your freedom is more purchased than liberally walked around here. Yeah. Welcome to Sigar. I lift the paper up and thunders back off. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I look over. We need to get out of here. Of it's course. Sigar, no hold it. It's all right, though. Merrick's will be able to bail us out. <laughs> Not if they see hey, <laughs> I'm just saying, again, you might be worried about dragons or mind players or something. Taxes is yes. not a word I like to hear. Why do they take Merrick's down? Did they kill him? No, no, no. <laughs> they slay him? No, did they yeah, kill him? They couldn't. They just, with taxes. just buy the whole city. Can look upon it as an investment. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to your lady out uh, later. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's start go. with the tattoo guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So they all not like the Mr. Fellows. <laughs> so once again, there's a as you continue on, and something you notice looking at the windows okay. is that is that the uh, the, the, the city begins to deteriorate slightly. The the the, the great buildings with their, their their tinge, the tinge gets tingier. The fog gets foggier. Is this supposed to be the higher there's, place? There's almost there's a no. The there's ivy. a patina over the tinge. Yes. Right. Uh, the, uh, the the people start to look a little more shady. More so than usual. More shady? Yeah. More shady, like, yeah. There's a lot less Slip angelic shady. figures and a lot more demonic figures. Uh -huh. uh, you see two lar uh, uh, big, big figures with spikes all over their bodies and large tails with stingers on them just kind of discussing things to each other. And then they kind of look over as you go by. One of them says, Holy crap, is that Elminster? And then they kind of scurry off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were so famous. Yeah, you're quite well, though. When you do bad things in many places, they remember you. <laughs> but I do bad things. I'm glad you have done no bad things where I am from. That's right. So am I. Although there was that. <laughs> there was that one time. <laughs> Let's just say there are some... Domains are not where they used to be. Ah. Well, oh, yes. But then you could look upon me merely as a urban desecrator. <laughs> you see uh, a guy pulling a wagon. Uh, he's kind of, throw out your dead. Bring him out. And he grabs a corpse in the gutter, throws it on. Bring out your dead. <sighs> I thought he said debt for a moment, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, multi. I mean, if I could throw my debt onto that, I could do that is <laughs> So, so he's he's a food collector, is what you're saying? Uh, well, he has the sigil of the dusters ah, on his cart. So he's gilded, yeah, Gun okay. and dusters. Well, the dusters. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the dusters are those who ensure the people who die of sigil remain so, or at least. Sign away their right to not be. If you're looking for some quick cash, I recommend signing your body away to them. I don't plan on dying here. 
Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't want to be another Saturday night, and I ain't got nobody. So no. <laughs> uh, a torrent of rats. The brains expose, scurry by, and run down an alleyway as a green figure with pointy ears and uh, a uh, sort of a, an outfit that would seems less designed for combat and more designed for pest control huh. uh, makes its way chasing after them. You, ah, you recognize him as a gift? Yeah, he looks a lot like you oh, your, your, your friend Captain Flint that you've seen. It in looks past. like Captain Flint. You know, actually, uh, 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 it's a thing, like, hard time. You know, not every Gith Yankee is is Captain. No, but I mean, I recognize you know. this this particular culture of people. Oh yeah, I, I know. I'm just saying that there's there's a culture. You know, of Flint's course. a person. <laughs> right. Um, so your left will be the grease pit. That's where the good food is. Not that. That's great bizarre. Good. That's where you want to eat if you want to get some good food. And over here is the Smoldering Corpse Bar. Great drinks, good places. There's one thing the Hive is great at. It's serving alcohol and food that'll make you forget you live in the Hive. All right. But just up there, Fells Tattoos. Is there a Popeye's chicken around her? <laughs> I mean, essentially, yeah. <laughs> it's KFC. There's a big beholder with like his eye kind of distended out of his body. He's like, I got chicken. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get to that. <laughs> the uh, onion carriage stops and he gestures out as you see a... Um, uh, rather interesting shaped building. It's got kind of this, uh, it, it kind of looks a bit like a, a key if it were cut off halfway through and then enlarged substantially and given a few extra platforms and ramps and stairs to move around on. You see two trolls thundering their way down with sleeveless vests, just like, hey, check this out. And they put their arms out and you see uh, matching tattoos that go on either side. And when they flex, you see these two people dance to each other. Hey, 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 hey. Impressive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's definitely worth the copper piece, is all I'm saying. We, we look like beggars get lost. <laughs> they thunder away. Huh. Oh, they're, they're, they're high. They're high. Yeah, high like, yeah I was just, uh, you know, wanted a gun show. I'll just open the door. Okay. Uh, you enter forth into a... It, rather, it, it, the outside of this place was very much like what you would consider like a slum. Like it was, it was a little more deteriorated. The buildings were a little less immaculate. But this, this is a very well kept building. It's one, probably one of the only buildings that you've seen in the recent in this entire ward that doesn't have the sign of degradation and the mm. dilapidation to it. Um, but a. A lean, purple-skinned figure in flowing robes, its horns protruding from a voluminous tuft of white hair, turns around and you see uh, a wisps of smoke conjure in front of it of a waving hand. Hmm. Well met. Good to meet you, Scott. Hi. Bows. We are here to meet a certain uh, fell. I assume this is this is the fell. I think. This is that fellow. Once again, bows before. Oh, you have a time? Nice to meet you. I'm Blowholt. It lifts its hand up, oh, and you see like a needle, and then an arm appear, materializes as it begins to draw something, and then a question mark appear. We were more interested in information. We were told that you might... Know. Wispy floats single. Uh, once again, appear as you see a uh, a hand doing this. Oh, <laughs> my goodness! This yeah, place. I'm just I'm just saying. I, I like I like the way you talk. And you think? Can you give me a concept of uh, what might be? You know, uh, are we talking a coin? Or are we talking a gem? Yeah. What's what's our price range here? Kind of leans back and thinks for a moment. For finding, say, a portal. And then you see it manipulate up to like this archway with a glowing interior. A particular right. portal. Right. Not a random it any portal. It mists away and then reshapes a very unique looking with like twisted barbs and like question marks around it and the big swirling vortex. Say and then appearing it. next to it is a huge bulging pouch. All right. Kind of All right. 
Uh, so, uh, say Athos. <laughs> Two bulging pouches. <laughs> How much money do you have? Perhaps some. These tattoos that you give, uh, do we are they of jump right away? You are they of mana weaving? First off, do they do they uh, do they have powers to them? What kind of powers? And you just see like a slew of images appear, so and then you also see like um, like in game. Can, can I buy a tattoo? Yes, you can. What, what, so I actually, as a player, do know, do not know what that means. So what, 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 what would I see as an image? Like, just see what I think would be cool. You see, you see, like a a figure that looks much like yourself, but not wearing armor, instead just covered with tattoos and like arrows deflecting off and swords breaking upon them. You see one, uh, who you see another version. You see like uh, an, an image of a caricature of Melf, uh, kind of reach out and a tattoo peels off the arm as an arrow of acid flies out. Towards the target, you see. Um, he does without you the see tattoo, one yeah. of Elise uh, sort of lean out, and the tattoo glows as they become ethereal, uh, and just like a slew of different things like that. So, how does it work functionally? Like, we would buy like a. You spend money, you buy a tattoo, uh, you get it applied. It takes an attunement slot usually, and then you gain a benefit. So it takes an attunement slot, depending on what it is. Are there not attunement tattoos? There certainly are. Okay. Uh, the Dabus gestures to his chair. Is there something that gives Death Ward? Yes, actually. Although I think that is one of the attunement ones. I would gladly unattune my living cloak. Oh, my living cloak is not attuned. We that did. would be a life well tattoo. Nope. It does require yeah. attunement. Um, he gives you resistance to necrotic damage. Okay. And when you reduce to zero hit points, you drop to one instead, once per day. I pull off my ray of necrotic resistance. And offer it to trade in for that tattoo. And I will simply say, this ring, plus some, and I'll make the image of the pouch, mm -hmm. in negotiation for your work and knowledge for this. You see possible. wispsy smokes appear in front of it again where it's, it shows you getting a tattoo, and then it just sort of shows portal upon portal upon portal upon portal. If I get the tattoo, he'll give us the information. Because, you know, you're going to be advertising his work Thank to... Uh, yeah. Yes. Done! Gestures to the chair. And to your armor. What? Well, okay. I'm assuming you're wearing something covering your arm, right? Oh, yeah, and I'll take the bandbrakes off. I will... It sort of... The being shakes his head, and you see... Uh, two... You see, the, you see a, an image of a chest... You see a image of an upper back, and you see two arms, and you see two legs, and you see a question mark between each of them. I'll put the two arms out. Because I actually have two arms, two tattoos on my arms, so it works out. It you go. kind of... You, now, interesting thing you see is that all the Dabos you've seen up to this point, they floated above the ground. This one, he physically walks over to a bench, kind of looks at different needles. Sorry, fellows, this should only take uh, whatever I mean, it takes. In fairness, when we were told they were created to protect the city and this one was working in a tattoo shop, that already kind of suggested <laughs> a little bit of a... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say, if you're if you're kind of looking around a little yeah. bit, as, uh, you do yeah, know, it's I'm, also providing a distraction. You do see a holy symbol hung up mm -hmm. above this workstation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you, you would know, but you could make a religion check. Cause would I know? You could certainly give a religion check. <laughs> I am neither proficient in religion or Me neither. you know don't take it in religion. Yeah, because it's just intelligence, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not great. Okay. Oh my Eleven. Goodness. What? A six and a one. <laughs> eight ten. Plus. I mean it is an eight. A tremendous amount, because you are Yes. It's your own. Each of the realms. How do you not have religion as proficiency? Oh, no. That just seems <laughs> yeah, so you're here? Yeah, see, there you go. Yep. Um, you well, know I'm what? just saying, you oh, yeah. want to have the... the yeah. I mean, you just yeah. should. That's just a mistake. So it's yeah. probably in the, the yeah. teen range. Yep. Yep, because of Mr. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. So probably 25. 25? Yeah, 25-ish. It is the holy symbol? Who is this? This was you. Yeah. yeah. This is the holy symbol of Eoscar, the long dead god of portals, who used to live in Sigil before he decided that he should be in charge, and now he's dead. Ah. Uh. His corpse floats in the astral sea. 
And there is even, if you go to his old temple, you can go and look at it. As a lady of pain has so graciously provided anyone who would happen to worship Eoskar the ability to see their dead god, which is there because she put him there. So asking is Keith and not, you know, so, so again, I do not have this information, but asking is Keith, is this holy symbol hung up in the sense of... Oh, reverence. Okay, reverence. It's not like, hey, you want to buy a holy symbol? Ten yeah, people. No, no, it is, it's clearly placed in a, in a, in a holy site. And, and that's what we're coming to fell for. He's just yes. a portal guy. Yeah, he worships. He yeah. wants people to be able to use... Yeah. But he also has to, you know, not go overboard and the Lady of Pain becomes no longer in the, the portal mask. Yeah, that makes yes. sense. Uh, so he comes back around and before he approaches Loholt, uh, kind of picking up on some stuff, just shows like an image of Merrick's hat and then an image of a gold coin and then a question mark. He wants to buy your hat. <laughs> you want to buy my hat? Rearranges it so that it is you, mm -hmm. and then it shows you with bulging pouches of gold, right. and then puts a question mark, and then shows the rest of your party all with their pockets outturned. Right, right, right. I think he wants you to say. He wants me to pay. Well, I hold, I hold, I hold, I hold yeah. Yeah, he's asking if you're the money guy. I'll hold up the ring of the crackers. Yeah, I am. Will this help? It is from a world that has not yet quite, quite been detected. On the orrery of yet, and so the metals and the precious powder, his bruise-colored hand, are very, and I'll put it in his hand, are very unique to this world. And this is my way of persuading to say, I think this might go for Give me persuasion. Uh, twenty-five. Not bad. Okay. I'm sure I can make up the difference if needed. Yeah, I think he's he's gonna need a little bit more than just that. Let me just go check but that not ring. What you were expecting. Okay. After yeah, yeah, yeah. all, I will spread your good word, fellas. That'll that'll. So, how loaded is Merrick's? Uh, Merrick's has got to be pretty darn loaded. I, I mean, would say again, so, right? I would say that he's bringing traveling money, not uh, not like his entire fortune, but we're talking about a haversack. So you know pouch of holding that I think yeah. you would have in a range. So, he sort of eats a go bag. The image you know? will show a ring. Yep. It looks very similar to the one that was just given. Right. And then it will show uh, six coins. Mm hmm And then it will kind of wisp that away and you will see ten coins in a row. Like the, like uh, an image of ten coins. So right. you'll see six coins. So we ten coins. Sixty, do we think? Or um, ten coins. Mm -hmm. Ten coins. And I think Merrick's can figure. Out. He, 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 he's saying uh, he will subtract six thousand gold from the cost for the ring with the ring. Legitimate. That seems fine. And what's the remaining cost? So it's going to be if we carry the one. Why <laughs> not? Oh, he'll pay us more. Uh, yeah, yeah, he'll. <laughs> by submitting the, the symbols in a very similar way, sure. uh, about 54,000. Oh, crap. I have to reduce that a little bit. Uh, if you think you can. Um, uh, well, the, you're getting a very good tattoo. Yeah, I have to say, I, I have a, an astral diamond I've been saving for... Oh, well! Okay. <laughs> so, I, I hate to break it. But <laughs> Do you break an astral diamond? <laughs> Is that with my negotiation? Yes. Well, I mean, it, yeah. Uh, sure, here oh, you go. So it was 60,000. Oh, Is, right. Is that with my negotiation? Yeah. <laughs> so... Or can I... Uh, Try to negotiate this more. Um, you can do a little bit more. I'd say you could. I'd say I'll. I'll take off another. We'll, we'll make it an even fifty thousand. With, with with that's a good. That's good work. Yeah, and, and we're taking how much off? You you took about ten thousand off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to come up with forty thousand gold. Fifty thousand. No, no, fifty thousand is with the ten thousand off. Yeah. Yeah, it's it was like 60,000. That's right. Oh, so we're talking about 50,000 gold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, diamond. Do you, do you have it? I don't yeah. I don't know. You don't have to pay for my tattoo. I, I, gotta... uh, I, I do not think. Uh, my feeling is that Merrick's has it. My feeling is he could not continue. Like I think this, this is going to be a one-time purchase. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is this is sort of draining most of his funds. This, this, this is you fact, reaching into that Scrooge McDuck and just kind of like... I want this tattoo that badly. I, I like... 
Yeah, I, I do like the idea that it's the, he pulls out the thing, and then pulls out the bag, and then pulls out a cat, and, you know, we're sort of yeah. lining up, and I'm like, eh, you know, so I, 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 I got chance there to get us more. back left, but, yeah. But you better enjoy the set, too, kid. I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can bring this down. <laughs> um, I'll just, let my cloak will fly up. Mm-hmm. My living cloak, it's only gives me disadvantage. 40,000. Uh, only 10 for the living cloak? No. Well, how, what, what's the rarity of the living cloak? It's not that rare. But I know it is rare. Is, yeah. is it rare or very rare? Not at all. Oh, okay. okay. It's, 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 I gotta what about this vial. pen that is not in our I'm going to hold up a vial. <laughs> 10,000 oh, for an uncommon item is a I, I might even get deal. I'm going to hold up a vial. Okay. I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to pop the vial off. And I'm just going to use... I'll just use Ancestral Recall, one of my one of my uh, time powers, to show me the, the broken glass. And like, and basically, this is a vial of chromatic water. When and by, will restore you to a state of being that you desire to be to. Not in a younger state, but if you ever find a moment of... I cannot believe the kid is selling our oil of holy essence. Like... It, well, I, I've it, never it, been so, so proud so in all my life. Twenty years. Bring the tear to me. I. I'm just saying, <laughs> the crown. Who cares? <laughs> Selling snake oil. So I do. It's not snake oil. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know you what you mean by snake oil. I mean snake years, oil that so, turns you right? into a snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So here's a question. For I think you've had a lot of influence. In character, them. what is the okay, veil water? Is an item that you gave me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one time you. But it's like anybody going down with massive exhaustion and anything like limbs and shit, like we'll go right back. So, if we want that more over the money, or do we want to give that up so we don't give up the money? Because having this is a get out of jail free card, but I will trade it for the tattoo because that's a better get out of jail free card. I think I might be able to knock off some of the price. Yeah. I think the uh, I think the magic item is way better. Little, little, little. Let's hear the uh, offer. <laughs> Oh, yes. A big wispy question mark. What if I can tell your fortune? Hmm. To know the exact time and manner of your own death. <laughs> Another 10,000? <laughs> what would you like to know about? Would you like to know about something that has happened to you? Something that is in the present or something in the future? Gestures to the holy symbol. Uh, is he gonna go to heaven? I don't know. Actually. He's gonna go to whatever whatever the afterlife for his god is. Well, now Miss Cleo. I will have him. Cut yeah, that does. He, he, he does the process. Okay. That is so sad. Oh, that's heartbreaking. No, it isn't. Oh. <laughs> you see, you see the oh, being okay. like he kind of like moves up to the tip of his toe and oh, he kind no, of stares right. over his eyes like. <laughs> For the viewer, what did you get? I will. Do you, you're, you're this weird misty whatever stuff that happens when you're gesturing. That's the speak. Yes, that's how he speaks. Um. I want to manipulate it in some way so that I don't have to speak really quickly. But I will basically, um, you know what? Instead, I will take out a piece of out of my pocket, and I will take out. Um, I will look around the room and I take out an envelope out of my pocket and I take out a piece of vellum, mm. and um, I and take a, a quill out of my pouch and design on it a symbol um, that represents the lady. Okay. And I sit, and then I... Interesting. However, because I'm trying to speak in code, I will point at the symbol and put it together, back together, and then get me a piece of gold. <laughs> I put it on the table for you. Mm. 
put the paper at the bottom here. Just for some the symbolism. It's for the symbolic symbolism. The symbolic symbolism. Basically, what she will convey as much as possible without speaking, but with some words. You will be bound to him, but not to her. And through this, you will gain control and everything you need for a successful life here. And this being leans back and you see it kind of crest a smile as more, less than symbols, just more sparks of emotion sort of pop up around his head um, and moves his hand and with one swipe of one hand and the other kind of just grabbing the last, I don't know, 30,000. Let me sure. It takes like a... That's a, that's, a, that's a yearly salary, maybe, you know? I don't know. Oh, you know, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> salary, he's, he's, salary. He's 20, yeah. 000 in the bag, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Grabs that with one hand, waves his hand with the other as along your arms um, produces a uh, various symbols and swirls and runes that snake their way up your arm. Uh, you see flowers blooming, um, little cute little animals kind of running their way along and uh, just uh, s small villages with smoke billowing out and people and smile like just symbols of life mm -hmm. imbued into you and there's on one arm you have all of that that, that symbolic and on the other it is that of angelic beings, uh, celestials, and they are stabbing downwards at corpses rising from the earth and the, the sigils of death as it finishes wiping along your arms, bows, and then takes its trinkets and makes its way over to its little lockbox and I, safe. I gotta tell you, the problem is you just got a couple bunnies on that arm now. By tomorrow, they are going to be everywhere. Oh, of course. <laughs> and there is a faint glow to the tattoo as well. So uh, this will be attuned to you. Yes. And I specified you have resistance to necrotic damage. And uh, you have a life ward, which is effectively death ward. Right. And once per day, it will take effect. If it happens more than once per day, we're all dead anyway. That's the bad. <laughs> it's a shame you have so, to pay so much for something I can just do like this. Yes, but this is so that you don't have to use a slot today. And you can use it on them. Mm. Trying to keep our resources slim. I'm used to not being level 20. <laughs> but also, if you gave up a, a ring of necrotic resistance and now have necrotic resistance and... Right. I mean, That's a win. this is a win-win, right? Barrett, I can do it. I will pay you back to the Silver Swords <laughs> Conference once we get back to Amari, I That's promise. Right. Gabriel left me a lot as well. We're good. <laughs> it then, after depositing its earnings into its very secure safe, rotates around and places a question mark next to what appears to be a dark sun rising over a <laughs> desert horizon. Oh. Yeah, that's yes. where we're going. That is the place. Um, um, now, you had recorded where on yeah, This planets. weird thing that I drew earlier. Well, there you go, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had I, you, there I were two, a sensory stone yeah, of you, the There were two the spots. Thing, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think you know the geography. So, are you? How are you planning to reframe the question? I'm not sure I actually so understood. So, where he's basically asking, where on Athos are you oh. trying to go? Oh. Um, um, never been. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's the problem. Right. We're trying. You know. So, so with the glowing light that we saw on the orrery, it didn't like give us much specifics, right? It's just like a mark on a planet, or is there? Um, um, yeah, it's you. So it's it's like a globe, and then there are two sections that are glowing with the energy. Oh, there were two of them. I trust. Yeah, yeah. Give us a give us a you know whether it's they were drawing a color or whether it's doing an two two yeah, energy yeah, readings coming, coming off. Oh, of so I will yep. try a history check because I've been there once. Been there once. Can we just ask him. Oh, Mister's got a good memory though. Yeah, let's try it. Where is it would go to here? The ten. It was my ten. I mean, are we assuming 25. that these cards that were spread to everywhere oh. had to go through their own portal? You used to own this deck. Yes. 
Could you locate it? You think about it? What are we No, that's what I wondered initially. But also, I imagine or both is, of these. Is, is, is it not but it's going to be too far away. Right. Right. That's why I just does it that I can't write away. Okay. <laughs> so, you tell me those yeah, I, will, you <laughs> I will tell you, Elminster, mm -hmm. you are picking up that these are both in an area of Atlas known as the Tablelands. Which, like much of the rest of the world, is essentially a giant desert. Mm -hmm. um, where specifically? You, you're pretty sure one of them is around a city. Because there's only seven of them, so it's not it's not hard to remember where the cities are. Right. The other one appears to be somewhere out in the Tablelands, but you, you don't know the geography. Even with a 25, you, you just don't know the geography of this spot of desert versus this spot of desert well enough to determine that. But one you're pretty sure is near a city. Should we go to the city? So, I literally did draw this before knowing anywhere we would go today, mm -hmm. and inscribed it on one of my cards. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to use, if you'll allow it, my cardamancy. Okay. Two. As a bonus action. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Burn the card. And use locate object. Okay. Because we have access to a portal, and because it is something that is I'm strongly attached to, that I, as Elisa, psychically drew. <laughs> yeah. Would you allow me to be able to choose between the two locations to know? Which one to I'll, I'll tell you what. Combining that with the information they gathered, so that they they could bring back up the information of the the orary and what it's mm -hmm. giving off, and you basically funnel it through that, I will give you that the t the two cards and which ones at which location. Yeah. Was that kind of what you're looking for? Do we have oh. to get both? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, when we I missed both. that part because I was like so focused right. on. It. So there are okay. Yes, please. But this is great information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I will. So the one emanating from where Elminster remembers there being a city. Now you don't remember which city because mm -hmm. there's seven of them. Mm -hmm. But even that, it's again you were there once. That's a three a reroll. Okay. Step down from ten ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> you you do know that or sorry yeah you determine that out in the desert is the ruin card. Ooh, okay. Great. Uh -huh. And the one okay. in the city is the night card. The Knigget. What is the Ruin card? It's your deck, yeah. Well, she would know this. Yeah, yeah. uh, ruin. Is that the one that... No, that's poverty, right? That that effectively, it effectively is. It is. It's yeah, poverty. Ruin is poverty. And then... Uh, but I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that card. The, the Knight, I think, gives you a retainer of, of, of like, who... Basically, like, a fourth or fifth of You get a, a Dufty Warrior to in your service. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah. I've never known that. Nice. Learn something you ever say so. So we need to go and grab all these cards. Uh, I what's, say what's start again, the city. So fell, you then see again, as the I dark open this up and it like bursts into flames, and I tell you where these things are. Well, it's your uh, your deck. Which of these cards do you think? And which do you want to start with? So you must have go through a lot of decks that way. Ruin seems to be a lot more dangerous than this knight. And I just like pull more cards out of my pocket. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ruin seems to be a lot more dangerous, and so we should acquire that one first to secure it in case whatever evil forces are after it. We'll I agree. It. Okay, but counterpoint if Ruin makes us lose money, maybe we should start in the city while we have money <laughs> in case we need to spend the money before Ruin takes it all the way from us. So, what other tattoos do you have? <laughs> well, I have a feeling that's all that one because these cards are. Not being drawn from a deck. If I go, and especially since I do this, mm -hmm. and pick up the card, it's not like I am drawing the card myself. No. Um, so the way the deck works is you have to declare that you were going to draw the cards. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, then it takes effect. That's why you can divine with it. As long as you don't declare that you are actually drawing from the deck, you can yeah, do whatever Dr. you want with Doofus the cards. Was like to he declared he was like drawing a, from okay. the deck because he was attempting to. He, he was running out of ideas and he needed something magical to deal with it. He was hoping he would get a card that would let him help. That would help mm -hmm. him do that. He kind of did. Yeah, so. yeah very. 
<laughs> what card it was, we don't know. It definitely um, wasn't death, but you know, it's a <laughs> void or something. For him, but um, yes, okay. So I agree. We should go. We will not suffer any effects from the yes. Perhaps, and if we did, perhaps the knight would be an extra person. So fell. But see, there you go. If you say uh, retainer. Again, maybe going to the knight gets us assistance. Right. So we're not using these cards. Is it a retainer? Oh, well, but, but, but you know, we're not, so Fel, we're not using these cards. Fel kind of looks back and forth as uh-huh. this discussion happens, and then wispy smoke once again appears of a dark sun rising on a desert, and the image of a map, and then a question mark. Would we like a map? Would we like? No, I think it's me choosing, right? He's like, yeah. hurry up and. Yeah. No, no, he's the desert. He, he gestures to Loholt. A map. On, on the house. Oh. Two. 2,000 gold fees. It then shows an image of um, two people engaging in trade, an image of a gate, then a sort of like a, like a plus, like a, like a, like a mm-hmm. cross, mm-hmm. Um, and then kind of the cross vanishes, and it's more of a, uh, an image of someone going, and it shows the image of a... Uh, the hall of a hall filled with books and kind of zooms forward and you see a ursine like figure scribbling away maps of multiple worlds surrounding them and then those vanish and then it has a big question mark can enter <laughs> okay are you offering us information on where we can find a guide He's offering information on a yeah, guide. A guide. Take us That's what I said. Well, I could barely understand that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, we would yeah. need a guide. Yeah, a guide would be great. Yes, we would like to know where we could find a guide. So, one hand leaves up, and it's again the image of two people engaging in trade and a gate. And then you see coins being passed along and someone handing a map over. Mm-hmm. Then that vanishes, and then it again shows the same as Zen. This person will give us a map of Athos. They they they'll sell us a map of Athos. Right. Yeah. Right. Rather than... More accurate. But yeah. where? Where do we... Where? In the Great Bazaar. Because that's where the people trade. But okay. Is that... Oh, Blake, put that as a question, because... He kept showing the image of the gate first, which if I could interpret as we have to go through okay. the gate. I, I, yeah. I think I think um, I'll give your, your intelligence is incredibly high. Um, that would be the city of Trade Gate. It's one of the cities in the Outlands. It's known for trading. Uh-huh. So, he's, so he's saying you could buy a map there, and that would. But they're also showing you the hall, the the, the hall of speakers, the lecture hall in Sigil, hmm. and showing the image of an expert with maps and cartographies of other worlds. Okay, uh-huh. so. Part of it is if we went, if we think Trade Gate is where the night is potentially, and we well, go there. Tra- and Trade Gate is a city in Outlands of uh, oh, near Sigil. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, oh. We we need to go. Find it's it's, the, it's the trade. It's the uh, it's right. the gate town of Bytopia. Okay. One of the outer plains. If the place that the map bearer is closer, we should go there. Yes, I think we go talk map. to the bear. We can get a map, but then we will still be going to. The first, the first place we will go once we go through the portal will be Athos. Yeah, well, uh, obviously, but the no, the desert. Okay, fair enough. Desert. The desert. The desert is what the Bruin is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've all all in agreement with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fell then moves over and rifles through a bunch of things, and then pulls out a receipt and shows it to you. And upon the receipt is an address. Oh. It is addressed to one Tripicus. 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 I I write this down. Very good. Tripicus. Kind of and the address, yeah. places it back in. Perhaps we should purchase some additional water just in case for some reason our magic doesn't work properly on this world. Uh, well, magic. Now, why? There you go. I, I was about to say, I got, a, I got a decanter that all hook you up with water, but I understand your concern. Yeah. Um, yes, the desert, of course. Oh, that's such a pain because if magic didn't work, then we don't have the haversack either, so we'll have to get sacks. Yeah, it might just be like <laughs> lots of trouble, of like ramp, actual baggage, uh, well, like a, a coach glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coach, we need a <laughs> full of water. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Fell then bows 
waves and you see a symbol of Loholt returning again and sitting down in the chair and getting his forehead tattooed. In time. Not the forehead, but perhaps another time. Perhaps stamp. Yes. Thank you. Or lower back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, right, right up <laughs> along the, 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 the Mike Tyson one on the side of the face. Yeah. <laughs> now we have the little tear in the corner. <laughs> no, I'm getting a crown tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I think we could pitch in for that. I think, I think that's even better than the tramp's. You all jovially leave the tattoo parlor. <laughs>